super. Jose, hey, congratulations for Swallowed. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, yeah. I'll be the first one to admit it. I did not expect <laughs> a lot of things in this film. So uh, so let's ask that obligatory question we always ask is, what initially attracted you to this project? Uh, we'll start with Cooper first. Um, well, I initially I saw that it was coming from Carter and I'd known Carter for about five years before then. There had been a couple projects that we had almost worked on together and then didn't get to work together. So we had always kind of wanted to to do a project. Um, and then my rep sent this to sent this script to me and I read it and I flat flew through it and I loved it. I was terrified by it, excited by it. And it was just, it was so, you know, just different from any of the other stuff that I had read. And um, so I put myself on tape and then Carter really liked it. And we had a little meeting and then he offered me the role. Wow, most excellent. How about you, Jose? Um, look, Carter is obviously one of the best contemporary filmmakers in the business. I, I've known about his work. I've seen his work. Um, and this is my first film, you know? This is my first feature by a director like Carter leading a film. And it was something that I feel like a, a young actor might, might dream of getting. It's such an opportunity. Working with Cooper, Cooper's Cooper's really he's he's a, he's a very good actor too. And then you have actors like Jenna Malone and Mark Patton who are very very good. And uh, all of it was just 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 such a wonderful experience, you know. Yeah. Jose, this being your first film, I mean, they really put you through the uh, grinder <laughs> in <laughs> in its own way. I mean, how, how did they talk you into all of this? Um. <laughs> like it was um we're, we're making a movie it was all uh, i was in a, a very good sort of i had a great team around me all of my choices felt relevant um there was nothing that i didn't want to do that i didn't do you know even like yeah it's i love it i love it <laughs> most excellent now, Cooper, Jose, one of the um, best things about this film is uh, is basically the relationships between your two characters, you know, basically the friendship, the love um, between the two characters and so on. What kind of chemistry did you actually have to develop, uh, you know, to make this more real, especially since uh, this is uh, Jose's first film? Uh, yeah, we were really lucky in that Carter wanted us to come to Maine a week early. So we were just the two of us were together for a week and we just kind of organically built a friendship and we watched movies together. We went for drives in the Jeep because that was Carter's car that he has up there. And we made dinners and ate together and we drank and we listened to music and we worked out and we just got to really you know we just organically developed a friendship and we were staying in carter one of carter's um cabins that he does airbnb for and we were in this it was it kind of is like a creepy like cabin and um we were like just in there together and it was just so fun and um yeah. How about how about for you, Jose? How 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 did you actually handle it, especially with a more veteran, uh, experienced uh, actor with Cooper? Um, you know, if you're going to pursue a craft like acting, you got to train. You know, you you got to you got to get in there. You got to do everything you can. I, I've done I've done a bunch of off Broadway. I've done I've done a bunch of theater. And uh, when I had met Carter, uh, he gave me the job because I was prepared for it. You know, um, I was I was at the right place at the right time. And uh, when you're when you're doing like when you're pursuing a craft like acting, you, you want to be prepared for stuff like this. You know, if you're not ready, then it's just going to go right over your head. But um, I was ready. I was I came to L.A. at the beginning of COVID. You know what I mean? And I met Carter around then. And it was tough, but be prepared, you know, <laughs> be prepared. Now, speaking of being prepared, 
Frontal nudity is one of the things that's most difficult for many actors. So how did you guys actually get into that uh, the state of mind to actually do it? Because both of you actually had to do that. Um, I had a little bit of experience with some nudity before. I did hair in college, the musical, um, where everyone gets naked. And I did another kind of like art installation piece with this director in New York where I was naked. And, um, you know, I think if you're doing it with the right people and you have kind of like, um, it's coming from like an artistic point of view and it's respected and it's it's not just doing it just to do it, then it can be a really beautiful freeing kind of um, experience, you know, and it, it takes a lot of like self-love and, and, and confidence to be able to like um, expose yourself like that on, on film or, or on the stage, you know? So I think just because in the, at least for my character, the, the, the nudity is coming at a point where it's like, he's almost using his body and his, his um, you know, what he's been given to uh, survive. You know, it's like a survival, survival instinct. He doesn't really, or he, not an instinct, but it's, he's doing it to survive and it's not necessarily sexualized or, or anything like that. So um, yeah, and we had such a respect, respectful people on set. Um, Rob, who was our wardrobe and, and makeup um, extraordinaire, kind of was always making sure I was comfortable and had a robe for me. And yeah, so everyone treated treated everyone with the utmost respect. And, and it was, um, yeah. How about you for you, Jose? Uh, what, was the, what was the question again? What was it? Frontal nudity. Oh, uh, you know, I had sort of like a, like a, I mean, that wasn't, I mean, I, I'm not sure how many scenes there are where I'm actually naked because it's not my, like, uh, my thing, you know what I mean? It's, <laughs> it's like a prosthetic. Um, but, uh, yeah, I was, I was sort of cool with it. I mean, it takes a lot of confidence, uh, and a lot of support, but, um, yeah, I'll go from my side. I enjoyed it. Yeah. Well, that is certainly a f memorable uh, experience uh, for our first film, that's for sure. I think so. <laughs> now, of course, you know, the uh, one of the things as as a film titled Swallowed, um, I, you know, we always will have to ask is, what were you actually swallowing um, um, dur during your scenes? What was that like wonton or something? They were uh they were gnocchi, like yeah. wrapped in um I think they were wrapped in like a rice paper or mm -hmm. they were I don't remember exactly what it was that they were wrapped in, but I know they were gnocchi. Um and they actually tasted really good. <laughs> but swallowing them whole was like weird. And just because like psychologically we thought that we were you know we were thinking that we were swallowing something else so it was just like yeah it was um interesting yeah, yeah. but they were it was pasta <laughs> <laughs> so I, i'm assuming that actually took a lot of takes and a lot of practice to do that then to swallow the the yeah. pasta Pastas, yes um i only swallowed one just like, and in terms of in the film, I only swallowed one. Um, but I don't know. I don't remember it being super, I don't remember that one taking very, taking a crazy amount of takes. And the way that we shot it too, we didn't have, we didn't have a ton of setups for that. Like, I think, you know, we had, and we also had two cameras. So I think there was a camera outside of the car and then there was a camera inside the car. So we kind of, um, I don't think we did, there weren't too many setups there. So I, I don't think we actually had to swallow them um, too much. I swallowed a few of them. but You had to swallow a lot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How, how was that experience for you then, Jose? Um, you know, you're making a movie. So at that point, it's not like I, I got a little stuffed off them and I was I was totally fine with it. You know what I mean? Like as long as the audience is... Uh, a part of this fantasy hmm. and they're, they're along for the ride then you know i'll take 
let's let's just get it done. Let's make it done. Let's make it right. Yeah. So he was down to clown. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Well then, then let's uh, talk about uh, doing the opposite end of uh, get, getting rid of uh, these uh, egg sacs because uh, because because you know that acting takes a lot of effort and for you Jose especially I could I could I could feel your pain throughout the entire huh. film. Uh, let's start with Jose on on how you actually approach uh, you know doing those uh, type of scenes. Yeah. Yeah. Um... I think it was the first or the first or second day I was I was doing the scene and my face was a little bit sore from you know selling it you know what I mean from being in it um yeah I think I think that's part of the that's part of the job part of training you, you want to be able to go there you know because when I watched the movie I was I was I was grossed out and I'm happy with that sort of that like final product um yeah you you definitely want to go there and uh, you want to make sure that whoever's watching this thing is like, believes it. You want to make sure they believe it, you know? Make sure they stop what they're doing and, and stop eating their popcorn or whatever it is and and have their focus on you or, or screen or whatever scene it is. So I was, I was ready. Yeah. So Cooper, I guess you're fortunate that you didn't have to do as much on that effort. Um. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, yeah, that's the thing. Like, I kind of just let the experiences affect me in the moment. I didn't too, do too much thinking about, like, oh, I didn't do too much planning on how will I react? How will I look? How will I be experiencing this? I kind of just waited for the day and then let it affect me. Um, but I will say I did have a um, – Carter got me, like, a – I don't want to say, like, a fleshlight because it wasn't a fleshlight, but it was, like um, – it was like this little like cylinder thing that was like made of um, uh, almost like rubber that I like put the Vaseline in and then like put my hand in. So at least I kind of had the feeling of what it would be like to be in there. Um, and then from that point on, it was kind of like, I was just using, I was just going off of Jose, you know, and kind of like using his pain um, to and letting his pain affect me and affect the way I was handling it and um yeah <laughs> well all of this in the name of art congratulations Cooper congratulations Jose thank, thank you, you uh, for uh, speaking to us about uh, swallowed and I can never look at pasta the same way again <laughs> <laughs> thanks thank Jake.